Help me, help me. How am I gonna do my hair like this? Ain't no light. <laughs> it's just me and my hair products. So I just got out the shower. I'm doing my hair in the dark to see how it's gonna turn out. All I have is the light from the TV. I'm using the products that I pretty much just bring with me when I travel. And I'm doing a twist out for tomorrow, so I need my bonnet. My Neo Organic Twisting Souffle. And some oil so no comb no mirror and in the dark let's see how it turns out my hair is wet right now i just washed it so i'm pretty much gonna start how i usually start and just start from the back it doesn't really feel like tangled so i feel like i don't really need a comb since I combed it right before I did my last twist out, I'm gonna add some oil to my scalp. Rub it into my head. And then I'm going to, I can't even tell how much this is, but I'm gonna take enough to cover the back of my head and whatever I feel like kind of um, tangled, I'm just gonna, finger part with my hands. And that should help. And I'll take some twisting souffle. And my twists are gonna be pretty medium size and hopefully they're dry by in the morning. If you take down your hair while it's wet, you're really not gonna have that much curl definition and your hair is gonna frizz out. So you wanna make sure that it's dry. So that's why most people leave them in overnight or over a couple of days. So I'm just taking it in two strand twisting it. And I'm gonna do that for my whole head until I get to the top and see how my hair is laying. Oh my goodness, it has got 10 times darker. Let me find the remote so I can get some light and show y'all how dry this hair is. Okay, so this part is dry and that's because I use only a little bit to cover like a whole back section. When you feel your hair is dry, and when I mean dry, that means like when you're twisting and your twists are not just sliding through your hand, you can add a bit more to the, to your ends because my ends be dry anyway. And now you know, now you can feel it like literally slipping through your hands as you twist. If it's rough at any point, just add a little bit more product because that's where it can be dry and that's where it can break if it's constantly dry or it's constantly rubbing in that spot. <clears throat> Since I already know that this whole little section is dry, I'm gonna go add some more right here and add it to my ends. I'm working my way up. I'd spread them apart. You see that my hair is not like matted or anything together after being washed. So it's super easy to pull apart, especially after adding products. So I just take two strands and begin to twist them. I twist the sides of my hair down the sides because I know that's where they're, they'll the twist will fall. And then the back to the back and the front. Um, I do to the sides to give like a little bang and to make it a little bit more full. And this is why I do it in rolls because when I'm taking them down, I can um, fill out my hair. 
and make it nice and full. So this is the twist. <laughs> All these twists are different sizes. <laughs> so now I'm getting to the middle. I parted my hair with my fingers and now I'm just filling where those parts are and I'm adding oil right there. I'm taking my hand and going like this and just kind of tracing the oil with that. So in the middle, I also decided to just go in and pour it in like this in between the parts because my hair gets really dry in the middle. So I'm gonna add oil. And I'm adding it to the whole thing. And you're not gonna feel it get like softer or anything. That's, you're not gonna feel that until you get to the um, moisturizer. And since we have no light, it's we're really gonna have to rely on how our hair feels. Now, don't be alarmed if you do this on dry hair. You're gonna probably have to add a lot more product because your hair is gonna keep feeling dry until you wet it up with that product. So I'm doing it with wet hair that's semi drying. It's just a lot more easy to detangle, and I can easily tell if it's like wet or not. I mean, if it's like moisturized or not. I can tell that this one is is okay, but right here is when it gets to a different texture. It's still soft, but it's a little bit more rough. That's why I'm going to add that little bit amount. So now it all feels like one sleek piece of hair. If you want, you can section the hair off with like um, a bobby pin or like a clip, but I don't do that because I'm just, it's faster to just kind of do it this way. For me, and I'm extremely tired, it's midnight. And I have to be up at like six in the morning. So I'm just trying to hurry up, moisturize my hair so that I can have a decent style tomorrow, especially after my hair has been, I mean, after, especially after my twist out has been worn out since like three days ago so i need to do something oh so this one you can see as i pull apart the hair it's getting tangled this that's this part is tangled but it's okay since you just separate it anyways and just start twisting. Adding in products at the roots if you have to. Until you feel that. Your hair has slickened up enough to go into the twist. And that's good because then that means you're going to have a curl all the way down. Not like some defined curls at the top and then everything looks flat or straight at the bottom or something. You're going to go all the way down with the product. Make sure the whole piece of hair feels all the same. If it gets rough at the bottom, add more water or you can add more product. I prefer to add more product. I was looking for my oil because I got my, um, what's it called, it over here. I got my hair tie over here and my bonnet and then I have my oil on the floor because I didn't want it to get on the couch. Anybody else be doing your hair and then be like, where the freak is the comb? Where the freak is the product? Just be looking all over and it be right there. Or you sitting on it. <laughs> So now my hair is starting to dry up now that I'm at the top and I'm having to add more oil because I feel it feels very like dry. So by the time I finish one section, rubbing it through, it's all gone. So I'm going to have to go to another section 
it's okay to do it like that. I know at first in the back where it wasn't as much hair and it wasn't as thick, I was able to do it all at once. But with this one, I'm gonna have to section it because it's a lot thicker and a lot, and I can feel it in my hand, how much product will be able to be absorbed. When I first went natural, <laughs> my hair wasn't absorbing oil or anything at all. And by the time I took down my twist, my hair was so oily. So that's why I don't do, that's why I don't oil my hair like in sections, if that makes sense. Like I won't oil this one twist, like I, how I put the product on. I mean, how I put the um, curling putting on with one twist. Cause I don't want to have product overload on one section. I'd rather just get divided throughout all of this instead of me putting a whole bunch of oil on this piece, this little bitty piece. Or a whole bunch of curling butter on this little bitty piece. So this part is constantly getting tangled. So I'm just running my finger through so that all the hair is straight and not like thicked up. Cause it's elongates my curls, but it also makes sure that any like naps or anything are caught. I'm just running, literally running my finger through the hair as I twist. And then now that I ran out of hair on this side, I'm gonna borrow some from this one. And just keep twisting. <laughs> Sorry if y'all cannot see me. That's why I'm doing a lot of like narrating just so that you guys can hear what I'm doing. And you guys can let me know, have you ever had to do your hair in the dark or something real quick? Something real quick overnight. So that your hair can look somewhat decent in the morning. Because I already knew tomorrow night i wasn't gonna want to do it and i didn't have a hairstyle prepared for tomorrow and i have things to do so it's worth it i'm trying to do it the fast way my twist out usually takes about an hour and a half to do this i'm shooting for like 30 minutes to 45 minutes And it all depends on the size. The smaller, the more defined, the longer it'll last. So I stick between like, I stick to like medium. So this, you can see the tangle. You can just pull it apart. You literally start from like the root and pull up and just pull apart. And that's how you detangle. Ooh. One thing about these arms, they get tired. They're more tired when you twist up like this. So I twist down so that I can rest them like that. All right, so in twist outs, parts don't really matter because nobody's gonna really see the part. But the only parts that matter is the front. So if you're gonna do a braid, pull the braid out before you do the twist so you can see how much hair you have out. And if you're gonna do a part, just part it once you get to the top. So the way my hair is laying, I can't really tell. It's really not laying any type of way. So I think I'm just gonna do a middle part. So the front is a little bit different. I'm not gonna keep doing it like this because then I'll run out of um, hair in the front, if that makes sense. So like if I do a braid, I mean, if I do twist like this and I separate like that, these braids are gonna be a lot thinner than the ones back here. So that's why I decide to, when I get to the front, like by the time I reach my ear, that's when I'll start sectioning it this way and then this way instead of going that way like I was doing with the bag and that just helps my hair 
fall like this or like this. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Still do the same oiling and curling method. And as you've seen, as it started getting to the top, and as it started getting drier, that's when we were coming into those um, tangles. And that's fine. Because if you add product before you detangle it, the tangle will, um, the hair will be a lot more manageable. All right, I definitely met my goal. It's 45 minutes later, and this is my last twist. It looks like everything looks pretty normal. So, I'm gonna put a bonnet on, and I will see you guys in the morning. I'm gonna wipe my face though, because I do feel the oil. Can y'all see me running my fingers through? Pretty much after each like twist, I'm just running my finger through it, kind of like combing through it. <laughs> and this is the end. I will show y'all this time to the best of my ability. Oh my God. And I'll see you in the morning. Please make sure that you wash your hands, wash your face, and pick up any little hairs that you've left around. You don't wanna to have to clean up later and your family definitely doesn't wanna come into your space and see a whole bunch of hair. So yeah, make sure that you pack up all of your hair products in a nice safe place for you to go to the next time. And the thing I love about natural hair products is there's so much left. A little bit goes a long way. Okay, so now it's morning and it's quite impossible for me to do it in the dark. So, um, I just want to show you an example of what I would do if I was to keep my twist in a little bit longer. So, if I wasn't taking it out the next day, I would just wear it in a style like this. Take my body off, um, probably put a headband and wear it like that. So, you can wear your twist as a style until they're fully dry, until you're ready to take them out. They feel a little damp. So let's see if this comes out correctly. Okay, yeah, this is pretty good. A little bit of oil on my hand. So some styling products that you can use once your twists are actually um, twisted out. You can use a headband. You can use some cute pins. And you can use bobby pins to make your hair lay the way you want it to lay. So always keep those things on site. 
and if all fails and your hair does not come out like defined like with twist i mean with the curls you can always just put it in a ponytail and this is why the imp the parts are important at the top because as you can see you don't see them throughout the hair but you do see it at the top and if i try to like pull it over and make it fit this way i would have to bobby pin it because you see that part is evident and if i try to split it it's gonna have a different curl pattern than everything else so yes and then just go through one time and feel if you have any twists left i found this one and i think this is cool I don't think I really want to um, style it any other way. I think it's falling great. Oh, I'm missing a lot of twists. Oh, but that's good. It makes it a little bit more full. So, surprisingly, my curls are, are a lot longer than it than I thought. I thought it was going to be a lot of shrinkage since on wet hair there's a lot more shrinkage. But this is fitting nicely. I'm just fluffing out the parts that look a little bit like flat. And this is the finished look. Was done in the dark. Comes to the light. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know of any other styles or challenges you want me to do with my natural hair.